I'm Tana Woolley, my student number is 2100062 and I'm going to be demonstrating a primary survey. So the first thing that I do as I approach the patient is I look for any dangers that can harm the patient further, myself or my colleagues. This could be any loose wires, um, any water, any pets running around. So what I would try and do is try and pre prevent the hazard further, for example, putting the pets into another room so I could then carry on with my primary survey. I would also look at my surroundings, see if there was any empty alcohol bottles, cans, any indication of drug use which could show me any addictions that the patient may have or why they have called me here today. I'll be looking to see if there's any mobility aids, any respiratory aids to show me any me medical issues the patient may have at the moment um, or any anything that I've got to be careful for. I would also look for catastrophic haemorrhage. As you can see today, my patient hasn't got a catastrophic haemorrhage, but if she had, um, that is what I would try and prevent um, firstly, I would put direct pressure onto the area and elevate the limb, for example. But as you can see, my patient hasn't got one today, so I'm going to carry on with my primary survey. The next thing I would do is check if there's any response. I would say, hi, my name's Hannah, I'm a student paramedic. What is the problem today? I've got a headache. She's got a headache. As you can see, my patient is responsive, she's alert, she's awake. It also shows me that she's got a clear airway as she's been able to talk and be alert by breathing. Um, I would just I would just carry on checking the airway just in case there is any blockages. I'd say would you be able to open your mouth for me? Um, that shows me that that's clear. Um, if the patient wasn't responsive, I would try and be, be a bit louder with my voice, maybe speak a bit louder. Um, if that still didn't work, I would go into a pain stimulus by pressing the depressor's muscle. Um, but as you can see, my patient is responsive today. Now, um, if the airway wasn't clear and the patient wasn't responsive, I could try and do a head tilt chin lift. I will have to be careful with that though, just to make sure there isn't a C-spine injury. Um, if there is a C-spine injury, I will then do a jaw thrust. Um, these movements move just open the airway, um, but they open the airway, um, making it more easier for me to um, insert an OPA or an MPA to help the patient breathe. Um, now I will, I will go on to breathing. Um, I will tell my patient that I'm doing a pulse 